my name is Cassandra Graham and I'm 25 years old and I'm finishing a master's program in education at the George Washington University. Um, and I'm looking for a teaching position. The kind of teacher that I would want to be, that I imagine myself as, is sort of the, the calm, laid back kind of teacher, like, um, who sort of has a, a nice relationship with her students. Um, like a conversational kind of relationship. I don't, I don't, I'm a very open person, so I can't imagine just like having my teaching life being separate from the rest of who I am. My kind of hope for a school would be that there's lots of collaboration, that I would have um, autonomy to pick what, like at least some kind of selection of books that I would be teaching, um, that I would have an, a good relationship with the administration, that it would be a safe school, and that I would have ready access to technology. Somewhere during my internship, I really started believing in myself mm -hmm. that I could do this and that this was my classroom. My uh, cooperating teacher was very much hands off. She let me do whatever I wanted to do in the classroom, try lots of different things. So I think I really felt like I, I owned that title somewhere during my student teaching time when I had the experience to really teach and make mistakes. Yeah and then bounce back with her support. DC is unique in that there's only one school system in the district. So instead of really pounding the pavement, I applied to the DC or teachdc.org and they have their own set of requirements. And even though you're supposed to just go through them and do a demo lesson for them and do everything through this organization that the principals can then pull from, I still went ahead and dropped my resume off at schools. And it did turn out that principals, while they do use this system that DC has set up, they liked that I showed up and did some actual face time. Instead of a name on the screen, I was an actual face that they could put a name on. Um, and I interviewed only at two schools, um, one previous one and then here. And I didn't get the first job, but that principal passed my name on to this school. Mm -hmm. And because I had a recommendation from the other school, um, it seemed to work out. The first year of teaching was a lot of work being brought home, a lot of lamination being cut out, um, a, just a lot getting done and trying, because I felt like I really wanted to establish either games that I would use in the classroom for years to come or lessons that were so quality. Not that I don't want to do these things anymore, but <laughs> I was just really ambitious and wanted to take on so much that my first year teaching ended up being really, not hard, but I was really tired a lot. Um, I was really ambitious, which is good. It was really, it was really overwhelming. I did not take uh, a lot of social opportunities that I feel like I should have, probably should have. I 
really wanted to like have such a good year, but now I know I can leave things and do them later, or don't have to bring them home. The first year was hard, it was overwhelming, but after that third year, I think is when you really have things to figure out. Uh, there's two other second grades that I work with, and I'll go ask them, like, hey, what did you do for this lesson? What worked? What didn't work? Okay, can I borrow that? Can I have a copy of that? So, if, if you try to reinvent the wheel every year, you're going to kill yourself. <laughs> Bank borrow steel? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Gosh. So, I think. Part of what makes a good teacher is if you can identify with the student. I think good teachers care. I think they don't just care about academics. I think they care about the whole student, uh, socially, emotionally. Good teachers figure out also how students learn. I also think part of good teaching is hands-on opportunities, because if it's not fun, yeah, why do it? support and understanding from the parent and the administration. Um, a teacher is only as good as their administration. If the administration is not going to allow them to try lessons a certain way or do things the way that they feel they want to tackle them, within reason. Of course, I don't feel like it's going to be a successful teaching year. Administration needs to support their teachers, especially behavior-wise. I know that my principal will have my back if I choose to discipline a child a certain way or go about a behavior plan a certain way. I know that he trusts me. So I think maybe it's trust and support. If the parent can understand that you know, you've got a class of 20 kids. You are trying to meet the needs and challenge the needs of every student. So if the parent can understand me and where I'm coming from, I think getting a job is, is important to my identity as, as a teacher. Um, I am developing this identity and like, I know what kind of teacher I want to be, but if I don't get a teaching position this year, I know that I'll have to do something else. Um, I mean, I might do substitute teaching, but if I chose a different route, then maybe I might stay with that route and not even become a teacher at all. And that's kind of depressing. Um, so I think it's really important that I get a job because then it will solidify my identity as a teacher. Other people who have already been teachers for years could probably quit and still feel like a teacher. But right now I'm like hinging on, am I a teacher, am I not a teacher? Yeah, I just really hope that I get a job so that I can become a teacher. Um, without it, I don't, I don't know what will happen to that part of my identity.